Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you like to be a member of the Chatterbox, the link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Also guys, if you want merch, there's merch. And well, otherwise, let's get started with the video. Anyway, guys, it's night and um, so I've been working <laughs> since uh, 2 o'clock this morning and so I am, um, I didn't work all day. I took breaks. So I am here with Nevada and she's been wearing this for a while but I decided I wanted to get her changed. Her hair is a mess so I might play in her hair a little bit but... I personally don't like to change my play in my baby's hair a whole lot. It's just not my thing. Um, I'm not a hair person. I will. I like for them to have nice hair, but I just kind of pretty much leave it how it is. So, I mean, for a while, and I'll play with it every now and then. But anyway, so let me tell you about this little girl before I flip her over. Um, Nevada is the prototype Jalen by. Um, painted by Angela Plicka and she was sculpted by Georgia Pigault. Uh, <laughs> and I'm trying to say it right. But um, I know. I think she made a, a post or something one time saying it's not that hard people. <laughs> it's not that hard. Well anyway. So I am going to get her dressed. And... It's always hard for me to figure out like what I want her to wear. It's just, I don't know why it's that hard. It shouldn't be that hard. But it's like, I don't know. I get my babies like in something and I really like it. But then it's like, come on now. I need to change them into something else. And then I just don't. You know the cutest part about her? I don't know. Like, I know I reweighted her, but I kind of kept her pretty much like her bottom area and stuff kind of the same as Angela did it or whatever and I just love her little bum bum like I think she has the cutest little diaper bum um I know some people a little trick guys just FYI some people actually like put like extra polyfill in the in their diapers so that they can make the bum bum stick out more for photos um this baby definitely don't need that and as you guys can see, mama waited her so her just so floppy. Her so floppy and her so sleepy. So when she came to me, it was like choosing. Do I want to make her a boy? Or do I want to make her a girl? Like she could have been either what or um, her artist actually took pictures of her as both a girl and a boy as a prototype artist usually do sometime. Well, some of them do. And I thought that was really cute. And then she sent a few boy things, mostly girl stuff. And I was just like, we're going with girl. <laughs> so let me see if you guys, if she's still in the frame completely. So that when we get her dressed, no, you guys can't see her feet. Let's see, we'll zoom out just a little bit. So you guys can see her a little bit more. All right. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to strip her down just straight to just her diaper and cloth body. She's just so sweet. I love her so much, guys. Oh, my gosh. Like, she is such, such, such the baby. I love Angela's work. <laughs> um, there are certain artists' work that really, like, like, really, really touches me and I really this is one of I really really love Angela's work I think she does really really good her baby's just I don't know it's like she has the whole thing like she gets the whole concept like she matches the hair the proper hairstyle with the proper scope with the proper skin tones it's just I don't know she just she just have good taste in the way that she she designs the baby so it's really cool. Um, love, 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 love her work. Um, but I actually 
have a lot of respect for a lot of the artists out here, especially the prototype artists. They have a lot to do, guys. That's a lot of work. Um, so I really, really respect them for what they do. Should I put you on different pamper? Um, I did not think of that. But we could, since I have so many different diapers. Let's see. Nope, that's a size two. Don't want to use a size two. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to grab her a different diaper because, I mean, she could stand to get a diaper change. Might as well put her on different diapers since she's such a cutie patootie. Now, that's a newborn diaper. This is a size one. It's probably going to be fairly big, but that's okay. So I'll strip her down all the way. So if you guys pre-ordered this kit, and I'm not marketing for for the sculpt or anything, um, I just wanted to give you a, a good look at her with just her body. So if you guys are expecting this kit or wanting this kit, I'm, I'm gonna paint one myself. I always have to do that. I don't know why I do that. But it's it's just me. I just actually I had to be honest. I had pre-ordered the kit when I seen this one. I said when I seen um, Angela's version, I was like, oh, I gotta pre-order the um, the kit. I'm gonna paint it myself and all this and stuff. I'm you know because I was like I'm not buying the prototype. So <laughs> so I pre-ordered and then. You know, that little devil sitting on my shoulder was like, you can do it. Just sell another one of your babies and you can buy that one. So I was like, okay, okay. I give in. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just paint the other one and either I'll make it, you know, the opposite boy or girl, whatever I keep this one as and, you know, make the other one for myself. So I don't know. I I may sell the, sec the, the one that I paint, but I don't know. This kit... Although Angela made it look really good, um, I can see how it could be one where you could, like, make it go wrong. So, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it justice. But, yeah. Look at <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And then she has this, her binky. Hang on. Her pink one is in the other room, but her gray one is here. And she looks so cute with a binky. It's like hard for me like to decide like when I want to, do I want to keep her without a binky or with a binky? So I just, I mean, I just love her so much. I know I keep saying that, but I, I do. I don't get to collect like other artists work that as much anymore and so I have collected a couple and I'm, I just really get excited about it but even even so I mean she's just yeah so good <laughs> ah, is it okay for me to rave about somebody else's work yes it is come on I want to call her. like come on no no <laughs> look at you look at mama messing up that hair <laughs> It's okay. It kind of go back in place. But her hair just really looks like real people hair for real. See, I keep saying I'm going to stop putting her in just pink. But I always end up putting her right back in pink. Like, I don't know why she always end up going right back in pink. I'm going to put on some blue hand mitts. <laughs> I actually bought her some neutral hand mitts, but they're in my room. I just thought about that. I didn't bring it in here. But I, I bought her some natural, like, neutral color hand mitts so she can, like, wear them with everything if she want, if I needed her to. But, um, I forgot to bring them in here. See, it's okay. See, I'm okay. I can leave my hands out. It's up my passy. Alright. So, she got this little tutu. 
This is newborn size too, guys. If you guys did I button this up, I did not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's button this up. So she fits newborn size clothes just fine. I was concerned about that. I was like, what size is she gonna be? So her limbs are not like skinny. They kind of got like some chunk to it. So it's like, like a little, say I'm a little, little stocky. So that works. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Her shirt says every bunny's favorite and it has a little bunny with a little same like knitted little whatever frill as the tutu that matching the onesie. So I really like that. Um, uh, this is one of the outfits that came with her. I am one of those people that try to use the stuff that come with my babies over time eventually either on another baby or on the actual baby they sent it with. Um, sometime like when I used to get my Claritella dolls, I used to not want to use their stuff because you know if you ever sell the doll, most people want those originals back. But then I kind of started getting to a point where I was like, I'm using this stuff. Spend all this money and don't use it. Artists take their time going out and buying them. I like the way she did her nails. Her toenails look like real toenails. Um, so, yeah. So I decided that I was going to start using it. And I did. So, look at you. So, I've been painting. So, I'm working on quite a bit of little stuff. Like I told you guys before, um, I'm really excited about the custom babies that I'm working on. I... So I'm working on, I finished up the painting on one of my customs, like I said before. And then, let me get my little brush. I finished that and then I have um, another one that I had started. So, and I have, to, like I have two other ones, like one reborn and one silicone um, that I am working on. And then my dream baby, which, is silicone she got this like lint right there there you go i got it and i was like trying to get it from in between her hands i'm like oh i want to get it out of there so i don't usually use this big spray bottle that actually this is actually for taraji's hair this <laughs> but i don't know what my other one is so that's and i don't like i said i don't really like do much in her hair or bother her hair too much um i forget how angela had it but um it does curl up really really nice all it needs is like water and it lasts for like a long time like since she's been here i think i've wet it like this is my second time maybe but yeah so it's it's really nice and she has rooted eyebrows so basically i can just like take a little water on my finger and then just <laughs> lay them a little bit down and because she's gonna lay right on the back of her head it makes no sense to to sit and bother it because she's just gonna mess it back up. So I've just scrunched the front back up and let her little curls go. And then when it's dry, it actually 
looks even better because it gives a little bit more volume. So, <laughs> so I actually like that. She's so hairy. I like that she made her like a hairy baby. I actually, you know what? I'm actually going to brush this down a little bit. Yeah, she she actually made her like a hairy baby. And I think that's what really catches my um, attention with her is that she's like a hairy baby and my babies were very hairy. They ran down in their face like this. So that's that. So then that's that's all I would do. And then let that dry. Oh, and another thing that I I love about um Plicka's babies is the texture is similar to the texture that I do. So I feel very confident with changing them and dressing them and stuff and interacting with them. Um to be honest, like I feel more comfortable with her um texture over Joey's. Joey's is nice, but I do I do work with cautious caution with him. However, I do feel like he is perfectly okay. It's just that when they they have more they don't have the the like thicker texture on them. I worry about switching their clothes a lot and stuff like that, which I mean, I don't want to at this point. I used to like to dress my babies a lot, but um, at this point, I don't have time to dress all of them um, every day or stuff like that because I have quite a bit of babies in my collection now. But um, so it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't take away my enjoyment. But I just don't dress him as often. Um, I just don't want nothing to happen with him. So I just, I'm just a little bit more cautious. Um, her, honestly, if I wanted to change her every day, I think she'll be able to sustain it. But I don't because I get, you know, excited about what she, whatever she's wearing. And then I kind of like leave her in it so that's her so i am going to go thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed seeing her if you guys are expecting like the sculpt or anything like that um i definitely think she's she's a cute one and yeah she's like the perfect little size if you like little small babies but she's just enough to where she can fit clothes out of every store. So I like that. All right. So I am. Um, let me see. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit more. So you can see her a little. <laughs> so, yep. That's her. All right, guys. Later.